trying out Tix Tales for the first time. Let's get it. Let's get it. Part one. Am I dead? But I'm too young to die. I promise I'll be a better boy. I want a Gandar's potions. I swear. Tick. Huh? Tick. All right, hold on. I gotta make sure the stream is correct. You can see all the bit bab and the jib jab. All right, cool. Looks good to me. Go to move by. Who is that? Ta da! Oh no, the Grim Reaper. Relax, Tick. You're dreaming. I am? Then who are you? Why, well, I'm your fairy godfather, of course. I brought you here to the pit of destiny. Today you will choose your trade. Let us see what your fate could bring. Behold! These young Tick represent the potential destinies for your life. They have been selected since the dawn of time. These destinies are never mistaken. So I'm destined to be a shovel? No, 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 no. This shovel represents the job of a grave digger. A simple job for a simple fellow. I'm not simple. Next we have the broom representing the humble job of a janitor. I'm not going to be a janitor. Hmm? Sword? Sword? Uh-oh, there must be some mistake. <clears throat> you must choose between being a janitor and a grave digger. But I want that sword so that I can be a knight. And you said that these destinies are never mistaken. Never mind that. Take that shovel or that broom. No buts. Uh, let's check out the shovel. There's a plaque here. With thy shovel, thou will enroll for the dead man, the dead man, a resting hole. Thou doth own the night, but beware the fight. Thou will not wed if twas thy goal. If, if twas thy goal. He's like, huh. Don't be dismayed, young tick. Remember, these destinies can't be mistaken. But it sounds so dull. There's a plaque here. Grab thy broom, son, and sweep that dirt. Sweep him up till thy armpits hurt. Thou smell like a hog with stench like a fog. So what thou no cute babes wouldst flirt. Huh. huh. So at least I can, so I can I at least slay ghouls with this broom? Not quite, young tick. The weapon needs to fight a more persistent foe. Dust and grime. With this broom, you can clean. Then you can fulfill your fate as a janitor. Huh. What about the sword? There's a plaque here. A noble choice to be a knight. Strength and valor guard thee from fright. There's no need to shove to find thy true love. Because maiden swoon for guys with might. Awesome. If I become a knight, maybe Georgia McGorgeous will love me. Georgia McGorgeous. Ooh. Tick, I told you that you can't be a knight. I think you'd be much better suited for a more menial job. Hey, why can't I be a knight? It's my destiny. And plus, it's the only way to get Georgia and be gorgeous to love me. And this plaque here says that maidens love knights. As long as you're under my watch, Tick, I forbid it. You're just not cut out for it. Hmm. Huh. Guess I'll take a broom. 
I can't pick that up. What? Janitoring is the thing for you, Tick. Just think about it. Imagine sweet swell of victory once you've mopped up some spilled milk. Or the smell of soap in the bathroom when you spend your time making the towel and porcelain shine. Oh, because I had a broom in my hand. Okay, I get it. Huh. Alright, what about the shovel? Grave digging is just a thing for you, Tick. Just think about it. You have your own little shack at the cemetery. We can stay and not see another person for months on end. Well, another person alive. Well, another alive person anyways. Huh. Young Tick, you must choose your destiny. What if I don't like any of, the cho of these choices? Would want to be a grave digger or janitor? That's the problem with the kids these days. Always complaining about what they can't have. You need an attitude adjustment, mister. Uh, look out! What is it? Er, um... I saw a, um... A dragon. A dragon? Where? Er... Um... On that island over there. Yeah, that's it. There's a dragon on that island. I've got to see it to believe it. You better not be messing with me, Tick. Yeah, you mad. I'm about to smash this up. Yes, now before he gets back. Man, what a dream. Only I could become a real knight. Then I'd be able to win Go Georgia McGorgeous heart. for a woman though do something for yourself yeah we get dated in love <laughs> now according to Quotonian physics there are three states of matter that's the coolest sword I've ever seen if I pull it out I can become a great knight I can't pull it out looks like there's an inscription here in the day when I shall be poor, with much strength a knight will take hold, courage will be will he need, wisdom he shall heed. A final test remains. Behold. I think it means I have to prove myself worthy in wisdom, courage, and might. Then I can become a knight and impress Georgia be gorgeous. Ugh. Take my handsome hero. Well, at least it wasn't the same thing this time. I wonder what the final test bit is about. Don't touch my books. Nice trophy. Thanks. I'm the reigning champion of the annual town of Remington Junior Smarty Pants Derby. I earned it with my wisdom and sharp intellect. Oh, I'm guessing you want it? Need me to prove your wisdom and pull the sword of Blurk? Perhaps to become a knight and impress a young lady? Uh, yeah? My trophy is hard won. You won't pry from my fingers easily. Well, I'm preparing for next year's Junior Smarty Pants Derby. And I could use some help. If you can help me, I will secure my success next year. And I'll give you my trophy in exchange. Deal. What is the Junior Smarty Pants Derby? The annual town of Remington Junior Smarty Pants Derby is a contest of wits. It's sort of like a game of riddles mixed with a scavenger hunt. I must find the answer to the riddle to win. There are a few riddles that even I, the wise Brian O'Brainy, can't solve. That's where you come in. Uh, all right, deal. Very well. I'm studying for next year's derby, and there are a few puzzles that have me stopped. If you can bring me the answers to three riddles, I'll give you my trophy. Here's the first riddle. White as snow, but not as cold. Keeps you warm, or so I'm told. snow jacket? I 
All right, so to get his books, let's try the antique store. Son? Oh, you're not him. Welcome to ye old antique shop. Aw, oh, cute teddy bear. Don't get any fast ideas. That teddy bear does not leave my store. My son would be stricken with grief to find it missing. Oh, alright. Put it back there. It's a tapestry of Rupert the Lion. He's the town of Remington's master. I'll just try one of these mints. Wowza, those are hot! Never been a fan of flowers. It's a portrait. There's something on the back. It's too dim to read. I just steal that. All right. Oh, hello there. Can I help you? I can barely see anything. Sorry about that, Sonny. My son will be back any minute with some candles. How long has he been gone? Five, maybe six years. Six years! There must have been some delay. He should be back any minute. Are you sure he's coming back? Of course he is. Until then, I just have to keep this grandfather clock. To, I just have this grandfather clock to keep me company. So you're waiting in the dark? I always got to guard all of this stuff. Plus, my son will be back any minute now with those candles. What do you have for sale here? We're not open for business right now. Can't you see the lights are out? We'll be open again. We'll be open again when my son comes back with some candles. Why don't you just open the curtains? The window doesn't let much light in anyhow. Plus, my son will be back any time now. Should be back any time now. If I get some light in here, will you open up shop? No. I need my son to help around the shop anyways. And there's a lot to fix before we're ready to open up shop again. Jeez. Are those lava mints on the desk? They're the finest lava mints in all of Remington. Hand brewed and delivered by none other than Gandalf himself. What's up, Brad? How you doing, sir? They are free for customers. We're not open for business, but I'll let you have one or two. Um, okay. Feel free to look around. Cool grandfather clock. It's quite the exquisite piece, isn't it? Alright. What's this, a basketball? All these trinkets seem to be bulky to fit in my backpack. I can't take the teddy bear, she said. I'm gonna open this uh, curtain. Oh, now I can see. All right, let's see what's on the back of this portrait. And it's something written on it, but it's very dim. What does it say? You just said it was too dim. And then you opened the curtain. It's pretty bright in there. It says Herb on the back. Um, all right. Excuse me, Sonny. Please return my belongings before you leave. Oh, my bad. Peace. I was just trying to rob you up. Pardon my deep. That's Billy Billigan's house. He's probably still angry from when I put his dog in the dryer. What? Well, that's a terrible thing. Oh, can I go this way? Ah. Oh. Can I steal his axe? Watcha! Alright. <laughs> no visitors! Alright, can't go to jail. Just a candle. It's not lit during the day, so steal it. Come on, bro. <laughs> Some would say this is life-giving nectar. Me? I used to say it's nasty public fountain water. Why'd you get sick? That's my house. I'd rather play outside. That's the sheriff's house. He hates me. All because I threw a rock through his window. Or windows. What's the big deal? Captain McHoke's house. He's the mightiest knight in all Remington. 
If only I could be as strong as he is one day. I don't know, even live close to some really important people. The sheriff and the greatest knight in the land? Jeez. What's out this way? Oh, that's where knights kick it, huh? Hello. Hello, young sire. Nice ladder. Tis nice indeed. Belonging to the Duke of Remington, it doth. Can I have it? No. Please? No. Pretty please? No. Pretty pretty please? No. Pretty 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 please? Well, okay. Do not durst tell it the soul, but thou wilt bring my family dishonor. I will shame the name of my father Luke and his father Puke. Not to mention the Duke will have my head. Interesting. Dude just gave up his ladder, son. You bad at this job, son. It seemed like you were guarding it, too. Hey, guys. Hawk, good day, young Esquire. Can I have some of your food? Verily, I say unto you, no. We are feared with hunger. But we must have to replenish our stiff. Why are you talking like that? Shouldn't you be guarding something? Even the mightiest of knights must have to replenish their strength and get it to some R&R. &R. What dost thou speak in this manner? Tis a tradition. All knights speaketh in such a matter. As my father instructed it unto me as a mere lad, son thou must speaketh in this manner. And I asketh them unto him, But father, why must thou speak of in this manner? Yea, my son, for thou art a knight, and thou must speak of in this manner. And I told it unto him, Thou art my father, and I am thy son, therefore I will speak of in this, ma <laughs> this manner. I think I've got this idea. Got the idea. Can I be a knight like you guys? We think of not, young Esquire. Thou lack of the strength and vigor required for such a task. To become a knight, thou wouldst have to best Captain McHawk in battle. And no one does challenge him. But I'm on a quest to become a knight. Young Esquire, thou art valiant in heart. Depart of henceforth and go hit hither to unto the guy. What? Alright, goodbye. You know what? Let's try to challenge Hulk McHawk, Tim. Why not? I challenge Captain Hulk to an arm wrestling match to prove my strength. Thou prepare thyself. Thy task is not for the faint of heart. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hashtag wrecked. R E K T. You lost, young master. Go hither and on to the gym. Dang, if only I had some kind of potion to make me strong. Oh, what a hint. Pretty much just snitched on the whole uh, <laughs> thing. All right, well, we'll, we'll get there at some point. Uh-oh. Kiss me, brave Sir Tick. Oh, is that a gorgeous McGorgeous gorgeous house? Yep. One day I'm a knight and she'll say, Kiss me, young Tick, of course. You can kiss my young. And it starts with a D and ends with it. I don't know what we're talking about. Spit up my tea. That was stupid. <laughs> that is a smelly bison. Hey, carrots. No one would notice one missing. All right, snatch it up. Hey, man. What's up, Stinky May Stank? It's Angus, Remington's buff bull. He's used in all the town's rodeos. Farmer Doug feeds him in a wild high-protein grass diet to keep him in tip-top shape. Phew, his stench has attracted a lot of flies. Dude, stank, huh? Smell like butt cheeks wrapped in seaweed at the bottom of the ocean and mildew from tight diarrhea butt. I don't know what I'm talking about. Good day, sir. Care to see any of my wares? I have only the choices of wares. Why do I make him sound so upstanding? <laughs> the choices of wares, even though he looks like some pudgy dude. What words are you selling? The choices of questions, sir. I have the choices of all types of wares. I'm well stocked in use on used earplugs, glass eyes, and motivational tapes. 
And today, I have a one day special. Every purchase comes with the choices of balloons. I'm interested in your earplugs. Choice, choice, sir. These earplugs have been used by the choices of wearers. I can see a young man like yourself enjoying these choice earplugs for ages to come. I got the burps. And remember, every purchase comes with the choices of balloons. That'll just be 10 shekels. But I haven't got any money. Well, I'm afraid you won't have the choices of earplugs. Can I give you something else for them? I'll tell you what. I don't have anything for the kids that come to my stand. If you can bring me the choices of toys, and I mean the choices of toys, I will give you the earplugs. What about the glass eye? I'm interested in the glass eye. The choices of choice, young man. The glass eye is made out of the glass, the choices glass from across the sea. And remember, every purchase comes with the choices of balloons. I will give it to you if you bring the choices of toys. Okay, so everything is toys. Even the modern eight facial tapes. Sure thing. Has your luck got you down, feeling pathetic? Those choices of motivational tapes will convince you that life isn't so bad. All right, toys. Blah, blah, blah. See you later. Goodbye, sir. May today be the choices day. All right. I guess we're hitting the streets. Come here, mama sheep. She's too far away for me to pet her. I'm gonna pet her with some uh, hatchets. Ask for a gun, I wish. I'm gonna blow them brains out. I mean, uh, nothing. Oh, I know how to get her to come over. Well, we gotta uh, use this carrot, right? Come on, girl, get the carrot. Her, I guess her wool is shedding. Hey, isn't that what that dude was talking about? What's white and keeps you cool? Well, it keeps you warm. Maybe it's wool. Anyone home? I'm well, we about to find out. Aw, oh, shit, what's up, player? Um. Oh! Make sure it's the choices of guns. <laughs> Dude, like the like the word choicest. What do you mean, not you? I mean, you've wrecked my life. I never want to see the likes of you again. Leave! What? I command you by all the power I can muster. Leave now or else. But I'm your friend, Gandalf. Friend? What kind of friend would do what you did to me? You don't even remember what you did, do you? You mean the time I set your house on fire with a lava mint? You still a cross about my stealing your magic cowboy hat? Maybe the time I freed your pet dragon? Of course. Of course, it's irreplaceable. That cowboy hat accented my facial physique and complimented my skin color. And you, little pipsqueak, stole it from me. That's why I bought my magic safe 5000 to keep out intruders like you. Now leave before I force you out. Guess he's really upset about that cowboy hat. I think the cowboy hat was the best choice there. Let's try to go around the back and see if we can rob him up. I can see Gandalf moving around in the center of the room. It's hard to make out from this angle. Looks like the wall is crumbling here. Ah, uh oh. I can see Gandalf the wizard inside. Looks like he's opening his magic safe. Oh, it's got a sound. Hmm. So that's the code to a safe. A lot of good it'll do me to know his password while he's still there. So we gotta get Gandalf out of there. The stick might be useful for beating the shit out of somebody with. <laughs> Let's get some mushrooms so we get high. Perfectly right mushrooms. Come on, Igor. I don't really care for mushrooms. Come on, man. You know you want to go on an acid trip. Come on. But I'll give it a shot. Oh, you did it. Oh, you did it. Yuck! Already got a junk ton of mushrooms. Oh, how many mushrooms you take? All right, so we got to somehow get Gandalf out of there. 
Don't know how to do that yet, so. Gonna go on a little trip. Hey, little old lady, is a cat up in the tree? Let me go see if I can save. Maybe I can climb it. Nope. Well, you don't hump it. Man, you are nasty. Filthy. Dude, what you doing, right, bro? Nope. <laughs> Dude, it's filthy. Oh, good, a strapping young lad. Whoa, lady, chill out. Are you here to help this damsel in distress? Whoa, holy shit. <laughs> chill out, lady. Damsel in distress? Yes, I'm a damsel, and I'm in distress. Don't you have to be young to be a damsel? I'm under the 13 years young. I'm practically a baby. What's your distress? It's my smuffle waffles. Then we got in an argument, so he ran up in that tree. Jeez, like the chip. An argument with the cat? Yes, of course. We all we were arguing about politics. So you want me to get the cat down? Yes, I need a courageous hero to rescue some awful waffles for me. And this damsel in distress will reward you handsomely for your bravery. Uh, cats can't talk. How could you argue po about politics? Some awful waffles is not your ordinary cat. He's got an exceptionally high intellect for a cat. So other people can hear him? Well, n not exactly. Why would such an intelligent cat be named Smuffle Waffles? You have to take that up with his parents, Mr. and Mrs. Cuddly Wuddly. Dumb. Ah, that's cold. 113 years old and young, lady. Oh, sure it is. I do the same things every young damsel does. Sit in my rocking chair, knit, take photos of the grandkids. Right. What's your distress? Oh, you already told me. <laughs> Boo hoo! Wah wah! Alright. What are you doing way out here? Me and my cat Smuffle Waffles were on a nice leisurely stroll. Then he ran up that tree. So I've been camped out here for the last two days. Wah! <laughs> you like crying? You chill out. Do you know how I can pull the sword of Blurg and become a knight? Young man, I was here when the floor was put in the stone a hundred years ago. Of course I know how it can be pulled. One must prove themselves worthy in wisdom, courage, and might. How about proving your courage by helping me rescue some Muffle Waffles? I don't know, it looks like Muffle Waffles is chilling. Come back here soon and help me rescue some Muffle Waffles. <laughs> Alright, we get it, you sad. Yo, some Muffle Waffles, here yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty's not so interested in me. Alright, I don't see anything to pick up around here. Oh, wait. Grass. It's a high protein variety. You got that marijuana, huh? <laughs> Go smoke that up. No, don't try to climb again. Ah, oh, shit. You know, stop humping it, you see. Nasty. Filthy. Dirty motherfucker. Save that tree. Um, is that a flower in there? I'm gonna go look around. So let's do like toys. I don't know what to do with any of this stuff yet. Maybe I could beat this this bull with a stick. Just beat him. That is, there's nothing to do with that. And you never know, man. You just beat a dude with a stick. All right, man. Go in there. Hey, player. Is this what you were talking about? Wool is white as snow, but it keeps you warm. Good job, Tick. Now for your second riddle. Fill with air, light as a feather. Want to keep it? Best have a tether is a balloon. Okay, be back soon. So I gotta get one balloon, baby. Get a balloon, yeah. Son? You, you're not him. Welcome to your old antique shop. No, I'm not your son. Lady, you got me messed up. I'm gonna take this toy. Oh, cute guy. Hmm.
Wait, what's up with this grandfather? Oh, well, screw it. Just leave all our stuff. Alright, Manly. Hmm. I already have no idea what to do. <laughs> That's never a good sign in an adventure game. What about this ladder? Can we just climb up there? Let's do with any of this stuff. Oh. Huh. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Maybe I can make these dudes eat some mushrooms or something. Right. Hey, man, y'all want some mushrooms, man? I'm selling mushrooms, baby. We are warriors. We cover the not earthly possessions. Shouldn't you be guarding something? The mighty so nice and blah, 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 blah. same shit you said before. Shit. <laughs> Already lost. Well, let's try to get it to do some of this shit I got. <laughs> Even though it don't seem like toys to me. <laughs> hey man, you want some weed, man? I got the weed, baby. Want some mushrooms? Ah, all right. Want a ladder? Oh wait, fuck! Look, use the ladder to try to get that that damn cat out the tree. What the fuck am I thinking? <laughs> Come on, man! Come on, man! Yeah, we get this a big stick. <laughs> I'll set this up. Not big enough. Huh? Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Did you beat it with a stick? He's still too far for me to poke him. Maybe I can encourage him to come down on his own. Yo, man, want some grass, man? <laughs> want some grass, man? <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright. Let's go try to fuck with the wizard again. Yeah. I'm off to see the wizard. The wonderful wizard of war. Anyone home? This again? Yeah. Hello again, Gandalf. Not you again. I command you leave it once. Bu -bu 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 -bu. Or else what? Or else I turn you into a frog. You don't scare me. You asked for it, boy. Grunwald Chala. I warned you, Tick. I will return you to your true state if you leave me in peace. Do you promise? Yeah. Fruit say for Stasium Disposium. Damn, he did warn me. Do too strong. Gotta convince this man to not turn me into a frog. Wait, are those frog legs on his desk too? Man, you eating people, man? Sure, you can't still be angry with me. I can't. Set your house on fire with lava, man? Of course not. Wait, that was you? My house was completely destroyed. I had to move out of town into this shack. 
Leave now, I'll turn you into a, a, a pack of matches. Okay, okay, I'll leave him. God damn it. I feel like his temper is on fire. It's not like his house was. Jeez. Do the asshole. <laughs> Do like his Dennis, Dennis the Menace. <laughs> about this we gotta be able to get him out of there somehow I have no idea to try the one last choice I wonder why I watch this every time I'm your friend, Gandalf. Maybe the time I freed your pet dragon? Of course I mean that. I raised Snaggletooth from the day he was born. Raised him as my own, I did. Forty-seven long years. All for nothing. Give me one reason I shouldn't turn you into a replacement dragon right now. <laughs> Snaggletooth was ever free life, you old geezer. You know what? I'm gonna say that. Why you? Snaggletooth was my friend. Bring on Shala. Ah. I want you to. All right, man. <laughs> I thought I had bit the dust. One part I don't like about this is that we keep going through the same shit. Oh, okay. He didn't blow up something this time. Cool. But I'm your friend, Gandalf. Frankie Rockfuss in this game made me do it. Rock, Frankie Rockfuss, eh? What kind of dumb name is Frankie Rockfuss? You think I'm stupid enough to fall for that? It's time to teach you a lesson. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> One of these choices gotta be right. It's no fun seeing the same animation over and over again, though. Know? I'll say that. I'm your friend, Gandalf. I'm on an important quest! Eh? Pray tell, what kind of quest? To leave this house with some of your belongings. Since I don't want to see the same animation again, I won't say any of this snarky shit. To become a knight of the town of Remington. You are, are you? Now you are mere reckless youth plan on becoming a knight. By pulling the sword of Blurg from its stone. You mean to fulfill the ancient prophecy? Only one worth in, where they encourage wisdom and might can pull it. You never measure up. Well, maybe you could help me. I appreciate your spirit, Tick. Why is it so important for you to become a knight? I want to impress Gorgeous to Miss Gorgeous. I want to speak. I want to impress Gorgeous Georgia McGorgeous. You know, win her heart and everything. Win my heart, Tick. You can do it. <laughs> well, I suppose no man can argue with true love. Me, least of all. I'm still a bachelor myself. I have decided. I will help you. Your cause is noble and your heart is just. Just don't let me catch you stealing my belongings. Alright, as long as you don't catch me, right? Now, Tick, you know the prophecy of the Sword of Black. Uh, yeah? Well, let me remind you. You're gonna say it anyway, huh? On the day when it shall be pulled, with much strength, the night will take hold. Is this almost over? Patience, boy. Could will he need wisdom he shall heed. The final test remains. Behold! If this is true your quest, I will help you. So you're my friend now, Gandalf? No. Damn. That's burnt. Hey, I need those frog legs for one of my spells. 
Hey, think I can have this flask? Sure. Maybe when I'm older, a knight, when I'm an older knight, Gandalf will give me his armor. Oh, that's his armor, huh? It's a really big window. What can I do for you, boy? Can you teach me the ways of magic? The ways of magic? My magical abilities are innate. It cannot be learned. How did you learn then? I didn't. When I was a toddler, I sneezed and blew up my parents' house. I've been casting magic spells ever since. Jeez. What's with the safe? It's my magic safe 5,000. It's used to keep whippersnappers like you out of my precious belongings. It's a magical safe only open when the correct musical password is entered. What's the password? That's for me to know when you to find out. About that prophecy. To become a knight, blah, blah, blah. I heard it already. Can you make some kind of potion to make me strong? Of course I could. I keep all sorts of potions in my magic safe 5,000. I can turn a weakling into an Olympic lifter, a flea into a lion, a clutch into a ballet dancer. That would be cheating, wouldn't it? You need to concoct your own way to become strong. Why not? Already courageous enough? When was the last time you rescued a damsel in distress? Um, fought a fire-breathing dragon. Um, saved an old lady from a burning building. Saved off zombies from the internal graveyard. Rescued a stranded cat. I haven't done any of those things. Seems to me you have to go do some homeworld deeds. How can I prove that I'm worthy in wisdom? Every year we have the annual, uh, we already know that. But what about the last part? You know, one final test remains. Behold! What final test, Gandalf? Nobody knows, boy. Some say you must fight the ghost of his prior owner. Some say you'll be struck by lightning. Others say you'll go find an interdimensional portal to a land filled with snake men. But whatever it is, it won't be easy for you. Alright. Never mind. It's just a candle. I want that candle, though. Yo, Gandalf, I'm about to rob you, son. Don't touch my magic safe! Aw, oh, come on, man. I can't rob you if you bugging, babe. Alright, so we got Gandalf to cooperate a little bit. Let's go uh, put some nasty... I guess put nasty water in there? That's all I can think of. No we're going that flask at this moment. That has nothing to do with that. God damn it. Let <laughs> me go all the way down there and uh, just jump up, 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 frizzle, frazzle. All right. Still can't do jack and or crap around here. Uh, the coolest sword you ever seen. Try to pull it out of it. Yeah, yeah, yada, yada. Yeah, he's smacking. Ah, oh, shit. Georgia make gorgeous, y'all. Alright. We got 15 minutes more of this game. Then I'm gonna play some Yakuza 5. So you better start. Doing some cool shit. Nope, not your son. I wonder if I can do something with these lava mitts. Last time I saw him, he stalked me one right in the kisser. Frankie Rockfist. <laughs> Dude, don't fuck around. Wait, what does he do? 
Oh, Doug feeds him wild, high-protein grass diet to keep him in tip-top shape. Huh. Yo, you want some grass, bruh? Ew, he slobbered on my hand. I'm not sure I could get it back out. All right, what am I supposed to do with some bull slobber? Hey man, you want some bull slobber, man? <laughs> Are you interested in this? No, I have no use for it. You just like toys, huh? So you play with his booty cheeks. You're not checking nobody. It's full of shit. Oh, I got some wool wool? Alright. It makes a little cat toy. Ah, uh, we figured something out. Didn't know we had to go grab more wool. Doesn't really explain that part. Okay, all right. Uh, this game just crashed? Game? Game? Oh, my God. <laughs> all right, well, uh, looks like this game crashed. Oh, boy. And now control out delete does not work or something. What's going on? I don't know what's going on. Task manager, where you at? <laughs> well, that's fun. Thanks for crashing Ticks Tales. Hopefully, uh I don't remember last time I saved, but that's great. Let's get right back in it, I guess. Did not expect it to crash when I finally figured some shit out. <laughs> Alright, let's continue the quest. Alright. No, where are you going? What? Oh, I hit that X on the top. I'll set this up. All right, we got a cat toy. We're going to wiggle it and jiggle it. I think he's going for it. <laughs> That's out. Thank you for rescuing my furry friend, young man. What? And the ladder just falls to pieces? It's no big deal. You won't go unrewarded. Come here, young man. You want press a display of courage? I bravery, I give you this. No. Ah, gross! What's this? A kiss for an invent inventory item? Sounds like the game designer was running out of good ideas. Yeah, at least he made fun of himself. Yuck, a kiss for my bravery. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, here, slobbery kiss? <laughs> Got kiss in the bottom? I have no idea. Maybe that's just the courage part. Hey, yo, son, I got some kisses for courage. Uh-oh. Not this again. Bad at alchemy, bro. Well, hello there, boy. Hey, man, you can do anything with this boy slobber? No, thank you. What about these mushrooms? What about a kiss with courage? Good job, oh boy. You saved the damsel in distress. You're proving yourself worthy in courage. Oh, okay. All right. Um, let's make.
make our exit. Bah. Bah. Hmm. Balloon man. Hey man, you want this cat toy? Man? Are you interested in this? No, I have no use for it. Oh man. What's up with this dude in toys? You grown ass man. <laughs> Uh, I guess that's the only thing you really could take from a kid. Hey, I'm back. Yeah, I can put some of these mints in the flask. Like... Listen, I really need a teddy bear you have. Why? It's my son's favorite toy. Why should I give it to you? Because it's the choicest toy I've ever seen. Sorry, it's not for sale. Your son and I could have it. So your son said I could have it. Really? You've met him? Uh, yes. If you really did meet him, you'll have to prove it. What is my son's name? His name is Herb. Yes, that's it. You must have really met my son. Of course you could keep the teddy bear. Uh, that was pretty easy. See you later, lady. I don't know your son. Ah, I got you, sucker. You fell for it. Ah, ah yeah, you stupid motherfucker. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's give this guy a toy. Hey, man, want a teddy bear? This is the choicest of teddy bears. True to my word, I will give you one of my wares. Is this her son? What would you like? Uh, 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 I don't know. Motivational tapes, earplugs, or a glass eye? Who needs the motivation? I'll take the glass off, you know. Of course, sir. Here you go. And of course, here's your balloon. Thank you for your business. Hey, whatever, man. All right, man. I got your balloon. Now what do you need? <laughs> a balloon is as light as a feather. That's right, Tick. Now for your third riddle. Hippity hop. I jump so high without these springs, can't harm a fly. Okay, be back soon. Hippity hop, I jump so high without these springs, I can't harm a fly. Talking about a rabbit? Now I have no idea what to do. What to do? Oh, oh, no clue what to do. I'm lost without you. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Hello, young sire. Why aren't you sitting and eating? I'm on duty, young sire. What's your name? I am Took, son of Luke, son of Puke. All right, goodbye. Hey, guys. Oh, good day, young Esquire. Hmm. Hey, you want some bull slobber, man? Uh, who wants an eyeball? Hey, man, can I trade this shit in? What's up? Can I return this? Sorry, no refunds. You son of a bitch, you trick. Alright, maybe I 
I can get some more wall off this dude for no reason. Hey, lady. Um, er, no, nah, no kisses. No way. Somebody need it if somebody's glass eye that I don't know. Ah, not this again. Spider Man here. Sorry, I'm uh, doing Avengers Academy stuff. Alright, so let's see. The man with one glass eye? some wall <laughs> man you want to punch an eyeball maybe I'll get that lady to give me a picture of her son or something I'm pretty sure that's her son over there <laughs> he's just gotten bigger and bald Sonny. Well, send my love. You do see him. Oh, that's some lightning. Will you open up shop? It's still too dark in here. Don't worry. Uh, the sun is not coming back. Grandfather clock. Maybe there's something I can do with this clock. Uh, you want a glass eye? Shit. You want a glass? <laughs> do you want a... Uh... Uh... <laughs> Isn't that just a clock from uh, Beauty and the Beast? <laughs> son's picture back. It's like I do jack with it. That's that. <laughs> Played enough of this. This is Mintix Tales, and it's a fun little adventure game. If you're watching this on stream, I appreciate it. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, well, see you in the next video. I'm gonna go play some Yakuza 5.